Hi, Gemini. This is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I am exhausted. I just got back from Fayetteville, Arkansas, where my family lives. And we did a fundraiser raiser from a, for a friend who is ill. And we did really well at the fundraiser, but I've gone, gone by with a lot less sleep than I normally have. And so I'm going to make this short and sweet tonight. This is the reading for the week of May 10th through 16th, 2021. And the first card I get for y'all is the hangman. Turn it over. Bloop. The hangman is like kind of being in a state of stasis. You feel like you're kind of stuck. Things aren't moving the way you want. And you need to reevaluate why that is. Also, you got to have a card next to that, which is this. I don't know the number, Seven of Swords. And this card is about A, keeping your mouth shut, and B, there's someone not trustworthy in your circle, whether it's at work or at home, but there's someone in your circle that's not trustworthy. Now, that doesn't mean you get rid of them. No, no, no. Because sometimes the person who's not trustworthy um, it's still worth keeping around. You just have to keep in mind that they're not trustworthy. Furthermore, you feel really left out in the cold. Turn this over. Bloop, bloop. You're feeling lonely. See, these people, they could go in this church and get warm, but instead they're walking along in the snow, freezing to death. And that's kind of what you're doing. You're missing out who or where you could have comfort and where you could have that community. Also, we get the Queen of Pentacles. And this is the woman or the feminine energy that um, is a self-made woman. She gets the job. She gets a promotion. She might be a little heavy set. She a little bit dark if it's a real person. But it's a good card financially. It's saying that things are going to work out. Next to that, we get the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is about starting something new, but because he's got the crown on there, this is saying it's all gonna be really good and financially good for you, or if it's not financial, the new project is gonna be a good thing. And But you have to get started. And finally, with the Two of Swords. Now, you know this card, you've heard, seen it before. She's sitting there with the sword and she's going, la, 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 I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna choose. You got to choose. Once you choose, you can get on your way. And things are going to work out. I mean, you've got this card in the middle, but what it says is you, A, you got to start, and B, you got to choose. So it's like this bloop, bloop, bloop. See? So what are you going to do? How are you going to move forward? This is, you're in a place of stasis, and this is saying you have the opportunity to move forward, but you've got to choose. Okay, now I'm going to pull a card from the Spellcasting Oracle deck. And we get Courage, which works perfect with all of this. You have to have the courage to stop the stasis. You have to have the courage to make the choice. You have to have the courage to move forward and to stop being out on the cold. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.